Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I wanted to bring you the latest on the uh, Redodo 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that we ran into problems with. And if you've watched the last couple of videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know a lot of you guys are following what's going on because a lot of you have this uh, battery or a similar battery. And I encountered a problem uh, with that very low voltage reading that it's doing right now and not being able to get it to budge. I got just tons and tons of great comments from you guys of things to try to fix it. We've tried a multitude of things to get that to move one way or the other uh, to no avail so far. In the meantime, I have been in contact with Red Odo throughout this process. They have been very responsive and I've had a long conversation with their technical support. They just couldn't have been more accommodating and trying to troubleshoot this the best that we could. And the end result now is I'm going to uh, send the battery back to them. They are going to send a replacement and they are going to uh, tear that battery apart themselves and diagnose it. And they will get back to me and let me know uh, what the problem is on that battery. And I have read every single one of your comments on the, the past couple of videos about some of the problems you guys thought it might be. I tried what little I know how to do. Uh, suffice it to say that I just never got anywhere on it. Um, some of you guys may have been right, and we will find out soon. It will take a little bit of time, given the distance and all of the shipping back and forth. <clears throat> but uh, the end result is uh, Redodo uh, has done exactly as you would hope uh, if you found yourself in this situation. They have been in uh, constant contact with me. Uh, a couple of different people, very, very uh, interested and very motivated to find out what the problem is. It, they just couldn't have been better. So. That's what we want to hear. Uh, that's what a lot of you guys I know were nervous about, uh, given the situation, like if it ever happened to you, how would they respond? They respond exactly like you would want them to. They've reached out, they've been paying attention, they're listening to what you guys are saying, and, you know, kudos for them. They're doing the right thing, and they're going to do, you know, the diagnostic on their end and they will get back to me and then I will get back to you guys because we all want to know what's going on with that battery and we tried some of the simple things to jump start that thing that would normally work but this one's not working so they have some ideas of what they think is going wrong but they won't do uh, say anything definitive until they've taken it apart with their technicians looked at it gone over it and then I will get back to you guys and I will go back and review all of those comments and see uh, if what they end up doing is what some of you guys suggested. So thanks a lot to all you guys because this has been a great conversation. These things happen. Uh, this is the first battery that I've ever had fail. <clears throat> so uh, it's been a learning experience. And this story will be continued, but it's going to take a little bit of time to get it completely resolved and and understood what the malfunction was. So in the meantime, there's another battery on the way. We will take a look. It's going to be the same 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate plus model. They're going to send a, a new one out here. We will take an, another look at that and do another review on that. It's been a great battery. Uh, what happened that one particular morning, we will find out. I have all the confidence in the world and I will uh, as always, relay to you guys what happened with that. So just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. Thanks again. Great conversation. That's what this channel is all about. We're all helping each other. So have a great day, everybody. Aloha. And just a couple final words. Um, one of the last things that one of the Redodo 
representative said to me is helping users to solve problems is what we should do. And I really, I really like that. Uh, this has been my experience with this company. They've, they've just really uh, stand behind their products. Whatever you encounter, as far as problems, uh, they're going to step right up and take care of it for you. And the last thing I'll say is uh, um, JR, that uh, ham sandwich, uh, is going to come to you anyway. <laughs> That's an inside joke. You guys will have to go back and read the comments on that to catch it if you haven't already. But anyway, uh, thanks again for everybody because uh, the comments were spectacular. And I believe that somebody was right somewhere in there. And we'll find out. All right.